Thank you for coming to our Parent Education Night, where you will learn about digital citizenship and the effective use of these devices. We would like for you to sign off on our responsible use agreement policy, as well as our acceptable use agreement policy, to allow us to safeguard the use of these devices and your student. So again, thank you for coming tonight, and we look forward to providing a true 21st century learning environment for each and every student. Hello, and welcome to CVSD's Mobile Learning Initiative Parent Presentation. Over the next few minutes, we'll be sharing some information for you and your child to stay safe while using the iPads this year. Our goals for this year are to provide a 21st century learning experience for our students, increase engagement, productivity, and critical thinking among all students, and, of course, to prepare our students for college, career, and citizenship. Last year, MeasureX funding was used to purchase an iPad for every student in CVSD. Here's a story of how the technology has impacted one classroom in our district. I am Joseph. I'm a sewing grader at Kawea Desert Academy and an, I'm an Apple genius. At Kawea Desert Academy in California, there's something special going on in Mr. Richardson's class. Mr. Richardson is a wonderful music teacher, but he is also something else. He's our Apple genius teacher. You see, Mr. Richardson has a lot of experience with computers. He uses GarageBand with his students to create original compositions. And this year he has created an Apple Genius class where students have access to iPads and iMacs. We're not only creating projects such as Scientific Method and Spaceship Endeavor, we're also learning how to help other people with technology, including other students and even the teachers at our school. The teacher is sometimes the learner, the learner is sometimes the teacher. Mr. Richardson encourages this idea. Sometimes he'll ask us to find the answer to a question and then explain it to him. For instance, once we were using educations and Mr. Richardson didn't know how to change the color of the text and he told us to find out and then tell him and we did. We like being the Apple geniuses on campus. We like using technology to tell our stories. And we like our teacher, Mr. Richardson, who gives us the opportunity to explore the world as his collaborators. When your child is using the iPad online, here are some things that they should know. They should know that they can only access age-appropriate apps and websites. They should use strong passwords and keep them a secret. They shouldn't share personal information to unknown sources, and they should always be cautious when sharing information. When using social media, your child should know that what they post lasts forever and that other people are watching from around the world. They should also know that what they post could impact college applications and chances for future employment. While your child is using their iPad, they should know where it is at all times. They should know that if they drop it, it could break very easily. They should never leave it in temperatures that are too hot or too cold. When they clean it, never use water or Windex, use a microfiber cloth. And of course, never leave it in a vehicle. Your child should also know that when using the iPad, they must agree to follow all rules outlined in the school handbook, district handbook, and district acceptable use policy. Should they violate any rules, the district does have the right to collect, inspect, and repossess any iPad at any time. As a parent, you should know that in grades pre-kindergarten through sixth grade, iPads will remain on campus. However, in grades seven through 12, iPads will be taken home to complete schoolwork. Now, your next question may be about insurance. The district will be providing supplemental insurance at the price of $20 for the entire school year. With this $20, it is $0 deductible for damage and $129 deductible for loss. Without insurance, however, it's $50 deductible for damage and $250 deductible for loss. It's also important to know that cases, cords, and charging bricks are not covered by the insurance. You should also know that in our second year of using iPads in CVSD, 
local law enforcement agencies are continuing to make sure that our students are safe while using the iPads. Now, before we go, here are some iPad tips for you, the parent. Make sure your child charges their iPad every day. Keep iPad charging in an area other than your child's bedroom. This will prevent them from staying up all night using their iPad. Number three, schedule no iPad time during family events such as dinner. Next, monitor what your child is doing on the iPad when they're using it. Know your child's Apple ID and passwords to their accounts. Discuss what they did in class every day. And always read and follow the AUP and RUP guidelines. Also, do not leave the iPad in your car. If you do, keep it out of sight by leaving it in the trunk. And last, make sure your child is safe at all times. Do not allow them to use their iPad in visible areas like the street or the park. Thank you for taking the time to watch this informational video. It's going to be a really exciting year. Now before we leave, here's some more information from Superintendent Dr. Adams. Also available on our website will be information to allow students, parents, and family members to ensure their own Apple devices. Go to our website for more information.